As the 2021-22 season is quickly approaching, I decided to take a look at a select few players that have a lot to prove in this upcoming campaign. Their reasons may differ for needing a bounce back season more often than most, such as recently securing a big contract or trying to recover from an offseason previously. And with that, here are six NHL players that have the most to prove this season. Last season was nothing short of a nightmare for the young Carter Hearts, as the netminder's numbers took a drastic turn for the worse, while Philly struggled to defend simultaneously in their own end. Therefore, the 2020-21 season for the 23-year-old could be summed up into two words, growing pains, as number 79 finished with the worst goals against average league-wide with a 3.67, along with the league worst at .877 in save percentage. With that being said, as he prepares to take the crease this season, much expectation will certainly be on Hart's shoulders to perform. But one thing's for certain, the external circumstances surrounding Hart have drastically improved, as Chuck Fletcher made it his top priority to bring in some reinforcements for the blue line in the likes of Keith Yandel, Ryan Ellis, and Rasmus Ristolainen, along with also seeking out a fellow netminder who will similarly be looking for some redemption in Martin Jones. Therefore, for Hart, all things considered, this season will be the ultimate test for the young goaltender thus far. Last season for Patrick Laine was definitely a much different one than he was used to. After being traded for the first time in his NHL career, it seemed that Laine had met his match in John Tortorella in Columbus, as the rift between the two became increasingly evident amid the multiple benchings and telling post-game comments. Therefore, one could argue that Laine did suffer from low confidence last season, as he was being constantly shuffled around in CBJ's lineup. Even still, this is a business, and the forward is also approaching a contract year as his one-year deal, valued at $7.5 million with the Jackets, is set to expire next summer. Even though you could argue that everyone had an off-season last campaign in Columbus, while looking at the team roster stats as a whole while comparing Line A's 21 points and 45 games played to others in the lineup, it's obvious that this was far from number 29's best season. Sure, he played fewer games, but Jack Roslovic, for instance, played only three more games and still finished with 13 more points. Yikes. And Zach Wierenski was one point behind as well, after participating in 10 less contests. Therefore, after summing all of that up, after having the worst season of his career, Lainey will be looking to light the lamp, hopefully with desperation, in order to secure a hefty new deal next offseason. Just like the player that Winnipeg sent packing early last season in Line A, Pierre-Luc Dubois was also thrust into a different system and made to acclimate with a new team last season. But after COVID quarantine and receiving a lower body injury in the process, Dubois appeared to be far from the player who once notched 61 points in 82 games played. In fact, his .46 points per game average was a career low last season, as the forward averaged a .68 throughout his time with CBJ. With that being said, after only mustering up 20 points in 41 games played for the Jets, Dubois will most definitely be returning hungry for redemption. And also similarly to Line A, number 80 is also entering a contract year, as his two-year deal, valued at $10 million, will leave him as an RFA this offseason. Well, if you happen to watch the last playoffs, um, more specifically the Penguins' disastrous series against the New York Islanders, then you'll know exactly why Jari is on this list. For some reason, the pressures of being the number one guy in Pittsburgh seem to hinder just about every goaltender more recently that started for the Steel City, as Jari's numbers in last season took a noticeable dip from a 2.43 goals against average and a .921 save percentage in the 2019-2020 season to a 2.75 goals against average in a .909 save percentage. This unfortunate discrepancy and the lapses in judgment that he had in the playoffs had Penguins fans up in arms and expecting fresh blood between the pipes. But former goalie himself and current Penguins GM Ron Hextall hasn't yet pulled the trigger. Therefore, after proving himself once over Matt Murray, number 35 will be looking to prove himself yet again between the pipes. With one more year remaining on his contract, if he's unable to improve, Jari could find himself suiting up for a new team for the 2022-23 season and results.
One of the biggest, most prolific signings that took place this offseason was the contract given to defenseman Seth Jones. After spending a lengthy time playing in Ohio's capital, Jones, who was pretty open with his desires to be elsewhere prior to, was traded this past July. But the trade itself wasn't the biggest surprise or shocker when it came to the hockey world. In fact, it was the massive contract that the Blue Liner was given instead. As the front-loaded, eight-year, $76 million deal will nearly double number four's salary as the 2022-23 season commences, at least as far as AAV is concerned. For many spectators, the amount given to Jones seemed to be more than he was worth, but in my opinion, this could have precipitated due to circumstance. As Jones, aside from Dougie Hamilton, was the only top-tier defenseman available at the time, and he'd proven that he could eat minutes with ease and be offensively productive as well. With 28 points and 56 games played last season, Jones Jones, once his new contract kicks in, will carry the fourth highest cap hit amongst all defensemen league-wide. Therefore, Jones will most definitely be intending to impress his new team this season and be looking to help propel Chicago back to the postseason once again. Last season for Kuznetsov was partially one marred by circumstance, as in he contracted COVID twice officially and received a fine for fraternizing unmasked with teammates, which could have been an unneeded distraction. After many assumed that he was on the trade block this offseason and that the Capitals had given up on their longtime center, Washington is apparently going to give the forward another chance. But after nearly averaging a point per game throughout the 2018-19 season with 72 points and 76 games played, Kuznetsov's offensive production has been on the decline, finishing sixth amongst his teammates in total points with 29 and 41 games played. Number 92 also had trouble being effective in the postseason as well, as after only appearing in three contests, he remained pointless throughout. With that being said, Kuznetsov will most definitely be entering this season with the most approved with the most approved amongst players in the nation's capital.